Let us see the first problem. Read out the problem. Observe the function first and observe the interval also. Then we will apply the corresponding formulas. Okay. Now see the problem. Let us see the first problem. What it is? Expand f of x equals to 1 if 0 less than x less than pi. That means x lies between 0 and pi. And your function f of x is equals to 0 if pi less than x less than 2 pi as a Fourier series. They gave you one function, one discontinuous function. And we have to expand this in the form of a Fourier series. Okay. Now, first, identify the interval. See your function where it starts. It starts from 0 and it ends at 2 pi. So, we can conclude that what is our interval? Our interval is 0, 2 pi. 0, 2 pi. And what will be your discontinuous point here? Here your function starts from 0 to pi. That means see this one 0 to 2 pi. At pi your function that means in between 0 to pi your function f of x is 1. And from pi to 2 pi your function f of x is 0. So your function will be the graph of your function will be shown like this. Let us see this one. f of x equals to 1 means from 0 to pi your function f of x is 1. So, I will show it like this. And from pi to 2 pi it is 0. So, there is no signal here. So, here there is no signal. This is your f of x. f of x value is 0 on x axis from pi to 2 pi. Okay. Now, we have to write the Fourier series expansion for this discontinuous functions. Okay. Now, what will be your expansion? What will be your formula? Your formula is for the function f of x, your formula is f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. Let it will be equation 1. Now, we have to calculate a naught, a n and b n values. After that, we have to substitute these three coefficients in your equation 1. Okay. Now, write down the formula for a naught. What will be your formula for a naught? a naught equals to, see your formula, a naught equals to 1 by pi. What is your interval? From where it starts? From 0 to 2 pi. So, your formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. Since it is a discontinuous function and it is split at pi. So, this integral is split into two parts. That is 1 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx plus integral pi to 2 pi f of x dx. Okay. Is it clear up to this part? Now, you have to write your function value f of x here. Now, observe the first part. 1 by pi, this is the first integral. The integral 0 to pi f of x dx. In between 0 to pi, what is the value of your function f of x? See the graph and tell me. Here, this is your graph. In between 0 and pi, what is your functional value? f of x equals to? 1. So, write down 1 here. And in between pi and 2 pi, what is your function value? f of x? f of x will be equals to 0 according to your hypothesis. So, here write down 0. Now, finally you got 1 by pi integral 0 to pi 1 dx plus integral pi to 2 pi 0 dx. Isn't it? After evaluation, you get 1 by pi for 1 your integral value is x applying the limits upper limit and lower limit you will get the value a naught equals to 1 okay now so after applying the formula 
you get the value of the first coefficient a0 is 1. Now it's time to calculate an. See the formula here also. What will be the formula for an? 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx. Okay, again split it. Integral 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx plus pi to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx. Again, same process. Substitute your function f of x value in the intervals 0 comma pi and at pi comma 2 pi. Okay, now after substituting these values, you get 1 by pi integral 0 to pi 1 into cos nx dx, nothing but cos nx dx plus integral pi to 2 pi 0 into cos nx dx, nothing but 0. So, you got this value. After evaluating and applying the upper and lower limits, you get the value 0. Next, you have to calculate for bn. Similarly, write down the formula for bn as 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. Okay, again split it at pi. That is 1 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx plus pi to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. And substituting the values of f of x in the intervals 0 comma pi and minus pi comma 2 pi. That is here it is 1 and here it is 0. After evaluating and substituting the formula and using the formula cos n pi equal to what is the value of cos n pi? Minus 1 power n. For 0, 1. Using these two formulas we get bn value as 1 minus minus 1 power n by n pi here n not equal to 0. So you got the values a naught, a n and b n values. Substituting these three values in your equation 1, you got 1 by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity 0 cos nx plus 1 minus minus 1 power n by n pi sin nx. Okay, after simplifying, you got this one. Now, you have to expand this summation. Now, after expansion, expansion in the sense, put n equals to 1 here first, then n equals to 2, then n equals to 3 and so. So, this will be equals to 1 by 2 plus 1 minus minus 1 power 1 by 1 into pi sin x plus 1 minus minus 1 whole square by 2 pi into sin 2x plus so on. After simplification, you got a required Fourier series as f of x equal to 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi into sin x by 1 plus sin 3x by 3 plus so on. Is it clear? Now, let us move to the next problem. In the previous problem, we obtained a Fourier series expansion for a discontinuous function in the interval 0, 2 pi. Now, in the second problem, we will discuss the same concept for a discontinuous function in the interval. Observe the interval here minus pi comma plus pi. Okay. Now, read out the problem. What is your second problem? Find the Fourier series to represent a function f of x. Here also a discontinuous function. f of x equals to minus k for minus pi less than x less than 0 and k for 0 less than x less than pi. Okay. First, draw the graph for this function and then we have to find out the Fourier series. Not only that, you have to deduce a result here. Your interval is minus pi comma plus pi. From minus pi to 0 and at 0 to pi, what is your discontinuous point? Here at 0, 
x equal to 0 is the point of discontinuity. Now see what is the value of f of x from minus pi to 0. Here this is 0 minus pi and plus pi. From minus pi to 0 your function f of x equals to this one minus k. Okay. Now from 0 to pi your function is f of x equals to k. f of x equals to k. Since it is a periodic function we can represent it like this. Okay. Is it clear? Now see in the interval minus pi comma plus pi what will be your Fourier series expansion formula? Your expansion formula is f of x equals to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. The change what we observe is on finding the coefficients. See the coefficients a naught. What is the formula for a naught? Here your formula for a naught is 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx minus pi to plus pi f of x dx. In what way your interval is splitted? It was splitted into two parts that is from minus pi to 0 and from 0 to pi. Now write down your formula and split it as 1 by pi. That means we have to divide it as 1 by pi integral minus pi to 0 f of x dx plus 0 to pi f of x dx. What is the value of f of x in the interval minus pi to 0? See your graph. From minus pi to 0, your function f of x is minus k. You can also find out by observing the function f of x equal to minus k from minus pi to 0. So, write down here minus k. And from 0 to pi, your function is k. So, write down here in place of f of x, we have to write k. Now, substituting these values and integrating and evaluating, finally you got a naught value is 0. Now, it's time to calculate a n. Similarly, write down the formula for a n. What is the formula for a n? Your formula is 1 by pi integral minus pi 2 plus pi f of x cos n x dx. It can be written as 1 by pi minus pi to 0 f of x cos n x dx plus integral 0 to pi f of x cos n x dx. Now again substituting the function values f of x uh, in the limits minus pi to 0 and 0 to pi and after evaluating the integrals we get a n equals to 0. Okay, see the integration. This is minus cos n x dx that is nothing but uh, here take minus out and integral minus pi to 0 cos n x dx equals to sin n x by n over the limits minus pi to 0. You know the formula sin n pi. What is sin n pi? Nothing but 0. And sin 0, 0. So, substituting these two values, you got 0 here. And here also, you got sin n pi minus sin 0 by n. Nothing but 0. Finally, you got a n value equals to 0. Now, calculate b n. Write down the formula for b n. Your formula for b n is 1 by pi integral minus pi 2 plus pi f of x sin nx dx. Again, you have to write your bn as 1 by pi integral minus pi to 0 f of x sin nx dx plus what will be the next value? Integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. Okay, in between this interval minus pi to 0, what is your f of x? nothing but minus k and in the interval 0 comma pi what will be your f of x plus k substituting these two and evaluating the integration substituting the upper limit and lower limit you got k by pi 
2 into 1 minus minus 1 power n by n here n not equal to 0. So, till now we calculate the values of a naught, a n and b n values. Now, what we have to do next? You have to substitute all these three Fourier coefficients in equation 1 to obtain the expansion. Now, substituting these three a naught, a n and b n values in your equation f of x that is in your equation 1. Now, after substitution, you got 2k by pi 2 sin x by 1 plus 0 by 2 plus 2 sin 3x by 3 plus so on. Okay. After substituting an expansion, finally you got this is your required Fourier series expansion. So, the first part of your problem is root. What is the first part? Finding the Fourier series expansion. What is the second part? Deduction. So, first part is clear out. Next, direction part. See your problem. Here, in your problem, the series is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus so on. And observe your expansion. Fourier series expansion. You got 4k by pi sin x by 1. When will be your sin x value equals to 1? For what value of x, this value will be equal to 1. Now, that will be, choose that x value. That x will be pi by 2. If you observe where this x value in your graph, see x equal to pi by 2. Pi by 2 lies between 0 and pi. So, in between here. So, that means this is, this point x equal to pi by 2 is, what type of point it is? Is it a point of continuity or point of discontinuity? Yes, it is a point of continuity. Because it lies between 0 and pi. It, it is a point of continuity. If it is a point of continuity, according to this point, if x is a point of continuity, the Fourier series expansion will be converges to this point. So, now, the Fourier series converges to f of pi by 2. We have to calculate the value of f of pi by 2. Since pi by 2 lies between 0 and pi, what will be your function from 0 to pi? Your function is f of x equal to k. So, f of pi by 2 will be equals to k only. So, f so, you got the value f of pi by 2 equals to k. Okay. Now, the expansion will turn into f of pi by 2 equals to k which is equals to 4k by pi sin x equal to pi by 2. Substitute the value of x. Sin pi by 2 by 1 plus sin 3 pi by 2 by 3 plus sin 5 pi by 2 by 5 plus so on. You are already familiar with the values of sin pi by 2, sin 3 pi by 2 and sin 5 pi by 2 and so on. Substitute those values here, you get 1 equals 2. Now here I am cancelling k on both sides. So you get 1 equals to 4 by pi 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus so on. So, after simplification, finally you got a result. Nothing but 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 so on equals to 5 by 4. Is it clear?